Rev up your engines! It's time for Show Off Sunday! Where everyone has a chance to show off their own car, and here's this week's winner! This is my 2004 Dodge Ram SRT 10. It has the 8.3 liter Viper engine and the same six speed manual transmission. It's rated at 500 horsepower and over 500 pound feet of torque. Capable of zero to 16, 4.9 seconds, quarter mile in 13.3 seconds. It has a record top speed of 154.5 miles per hour. The Ram SRT 10 was in production from 2004 to 2006 with only a little over 10,000 miles being made. So they are quite hard to come by. I was actually never interested in buying one of these trucks, but one day when I drove by a dealership and they had it out in the front, I just kind of fell in love with it and I knew I had to buy it. Take a look at the inside. It's not too much different from your regular Ram truck, but it is fully loaded with all the options you could have gotten. See, it has heavily bolstered seats with leather and suede accenting. Truck came with the navigation system and a premium Infinity audio system with eight speakers and a factory eight inch subwoofer. They wanted to give it a lot of uh, aspects of the Viper. So this is the same exact shift knob you'd have from a Viper. Also, you, you have your engine start button right here. Steering wheel is different. So they really wanted to make it seem like you were in a premium vehicle and they did a decent job with it, I think. I'm gonna start it up here. and that's a sound that never gets old to me so one thing people say about this truck is oh you know it's not a real truck you can't haul anything in it and i get i get where they're coming from you know it's, it's not something you're gonna go pick up lumber for the job site or anything but it can still haul you know you might see the spoiler as kind of a hindrance gets in the way and i get it but underneath the bed rails here on either side it's just two 10 millimeter bolts you can take the spoiler off in two minutes really and then that leaves you with a six and a half foot bed and i believe this truck has a payload capacity of about 1200 pounds which is not great for a full-size truck but considering this full-size truck can go 154 miles per hour i think it's kind of uh best of both worlds if you really think about it and for my purposes 1200 pounds payload capacity is definitely enough i don't use a truck often but it's nice to have one if you need it so now i'm going to show you the best part of the truck Open up the hood to reveal the 8.3 liter V10 Viper engine. It looks just like it. You see right there on the valve cover, Viper. The motor is really stock. Uh, you know, personally, I haven't found a need to add any power to it. Uh, it's got this aftermarket Volant coal air intake. I did not put that on. I think it's been on here for a while, done by a previous owner. Uh, I like the intake though because it uses. The hood scoop see right here because normally stock this is just a you know a fake hood scoop and i'm not really a fan of that and then i have a bbk throttle body which gives you a little bit of power but nothing really worth talking about that much but yeah i try to keep it very clean and it's just a beautiful engine to look at haven't really done any mods to it like i said uh you know i've only had the truck for about five months now and i plan on keeping it for a long time so you know the time will come the first thing I did was powder coating these wheels black. It cost me about $700. It was worth every penny to get it done because it just has aluminum colored wheels stock and it just does not look very good. This is the best thing I could have done for the truck. I'm a big fan of black wheels on most vehicles. I think especially with the red. So the truck is a real big head turner. Uh, it's very loud too, so that probably helps. But yeah, people are always asking me about it and I love to answer questions because I feel like a lot of people just don't know what this is. You know, they were pretty rare and especially to see them now, just something you do not see a lot at all. So I never mind when people ask me about it. I love to talk about the truck. And if you want to see any more pictures or ask me questions about it, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Casey Rival.
was this week's video and remember to have your car video highlighted here on my channel check this out So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.